Hi, welcome to the C-Suite Sessions. I'm Tevis. In today's practice, I'm going to call when the world is running down because we are in the throes of COVID invading our planet. Um, it is now surging on both coasts and um, creating a lot of unknown for a lot of human beings both in a personal perspective and a business perspective. And I wanted to talk about anxiety and times of rapid change because it really had me thinking about a spinning top in an amusement park, if you've ever been in one of those, where you go in and it starts spinning outward and it just sucks you to the walls and everything is flinging you out into the periphery, which I know a lot of people are feeling. Like there's, there's just so many details on the periphery to take care of. Um, and what's interesting about the spinning top is then the bottom falls out. And so you rely on the momentum of spinning outward to keep you from falling. Now this is not actually what happens in real life. By spinning out into the periphery and by letting our attention stay in the periphery, we actually miss out on what's driving that energy moving outward because that's always happening in the center. And the other thing that's interesting about it is that our ability to respond, anxiety is a reaction to free will. Think about that. Anxiety is a reaction to all the freedom that you have as a leader to choose. And your ability to be clear in the face of that momentum and in the face of your own free will and anxiety about it calls for you to move into your center. So we're going to do that right now. Quick practice, probably three minutes. Um, if you're walking, just make sure your pace is nice and even and that your breath is even. You can soften your eyes. If you're seated or standing, just even your body out, front to back, side to side. Draw your shoulders back. That always helps you get some deeper, more satisfying purchase on every breath. And you're not going to make your breath do anything. You're going to let it do exactly what it needs to do. And then you're just going to, if you can't indulge in the luxury of closing your eyes, the minute you do that, you take a giant portion of the fire hose of energy that is you and you shift it back inwards, which when you can do it in a calm place can be a very calmative choice. So I'm going to close my eyes. And you can feel any racing going on, racing out to the periphery of all your life concerns. And you can say, self, come right back here. And just really gently invite yourself. Hey, be quiet. you're inviting yourself into quietude. Hey self, be quiet. Again, not an admonishment, but an invitation. Be quiet. As you do that, you may feel the rushing. You may feel your heartbeat. You may feel the urge to take action. Just feeling yourself connected into gravity, into the earth. We're going to add on. You're going to invite yourself to truly be still. Be still. On your next inhale, no matter what your thoughts are doing, 
send the invitation. Hey, self, be quiet, be still. Be quiet, be still. like you're taking a friend by the hand again. Be quiet. Be still. So see how that feels? How it feels to draw into your center away from the periphery? know that that's where your most powerful answers are always going to come from. You still have all your competencies. You're still going to get great data. But the answers are going to come from there. So the only thing that stands in the way of these practices working is doing them. So do them. Just as we wind up, I want you to notice how calmative that feels, how empowering that feels. Because we need you at your clearest. The stakes are very high. We need you at your very best. And I thank you so much for taking this time out with me today.